first slidecast lecture in World Studies. This lecture will cover different projections of the world map. After this lecture, you will be asked a series of questions on the advantages and disadvantages of each projection. This is the same projection that you see in most classroom maps, including the map in this classroom. The Mercator map is made by wrapping a piece of paper around a globe in the shape of a cylinder. The cartographer or map ma maker then turns a light on in the center of a transparent globe and traces the lines of the continents onto the piece of paper. Distances on this map are accurate only along the equator, but are reasonably correct within 15 degrees of the equator. This map makes land masses north of the Tropic of Cancer and south of the Tropic of Cap Capricorn appear much larger than they really are. The effect is that nations like the U.S. and Canada appear much larger than they really are in relation to nations like Morocco or Nigeria. The Miller Cylindrical the Miller cylindrical map is similar to the Mercator projection in that it is used to represent the entire Earth in a rectangular frame with a cylindrical projection. It avoids some of the scale exaggerations of the Mercator by attempting to scale down the land mass with the northern and southern regions of the globe. However, this map still distorts the land mass the further north or south you move from the equator. This map was first presented by O. M. Miller in 1942. The Robinson Cylindrical Map This map is also a cylindrical map like the Mercator and Miller projections. It is like the Miller projection in that it uses mathematical proportions to scale down the distortion at high altitudes in the northern and southern hemispheres. The projection does provide a better balance of size and shape of high latitude lands than does the Mercator projection. Nations like the Soviet Union, Canada, and Greenland appear truer in size. This map is most accurate along the equator and most distorted around the poles. It was first presented by Arthur H. Robinson in 1963. They call this a pseudo-cylindrical pro projection. Sinusoidal equal area map. No, it's not sinusitis, it's sinusoidal. To create this map, cartographers peeled back the surface of the globe and laid it flat on a rectangular surface, then traced the shape of the continents. The advantage of this map is that there is no distortion near the poles. In other words, every line of latitude is proportional and northern territories don't appear bigger than they are in reality. However, the disadvantage is that there are interruptions in the map. This type of map was first used in 1570. It is also called a pseudo-cylindrical map because it is mathematically based on a cylinder tangent to the equator. Orthographic map. The orthographic map has been used for perspective views of the Earth, Moon, and other planets. Cartographers created this map by placing a flat sheet on top of a transparent globe and then tracing the shapes of the continents onto this flat surface. The most common type of orthographic map is a picture of the Earth as it appears from outer space. The distortion on this map occurs around the edges and is most true at the point where the flat paper touches the globe. In other words, the directions are only true from the center of a point of projection and the scale decreases along all lines radiating from the center point of projection. Any straight line through the center point is a great circle. Distortion increases away from the center point. The orthographic projection was known to the Egyptians and Greeks over 2,000 years ago. The Azumathal Map as you can see, the Azumathal map is similar to the orthographic map in the previous slide. It is made in the same way by placing a plane on top of the globe, but like the Robinson projection, 
It uses a math scale to temper the distortion on the periphery of the map. This map has been used most frequently for seismic work and radio work. It is also the map that is used by pilots to calculate distances between destinations. Finally, it is the map that appears on the UN emblem. Distances and directions to all places are true only from the center point of projection. Distances are correct between points along straight lines through the center. All other distances are incorrect. Distortion of areas and shapes increases away from the center point on this map. The final projection we'll look at today is the Albers Equal Area Conic Projection. This map is made by placing a cone around a portion of the globe. Like the cylindrical and orthographic projections, the map is most accurate along the line where the cone touches the globe. This map is useful for large countries or other areas that are mainly east-west in extent and that require equal area representation. The U.S. and Russia are such nations. Distortion on this map increases the further away the cartographer is from the point of contact. Because this map tends to be used for regional maps that are more limited in scope, it tends not to distort as much. Thank you for watching. Now please complete the questions that follow below on the page.